Hey y'all, I'm awake. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling with my hands. What's going on? It's the Michael Corey Morning Show. Man, we got about 400 people backstage and we all gonna do our thing today. We got a little fashion, we got music, we got actresses and actors. But they only doing 30 seconds each, so it's still <laughs> gonna be a 54 minute show. <laughs> All right, y'all backstage, make sure you got your 30 seconds ready and make sure you have your own woo, woo, woo schedule. No Jeffrey Osborne, don't woo, 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 woo. It's been done 4,000 times. This is show number 254 and I think they've done it like 4,000 times. Call your clan, good morning, y'all. Let me see who was first in here. Debbie Howard, 631, and that's late for her. That's late, that is nothing. Good morning, Stacey Quentin. Stacy out of Inglewood, Inglewood. Hey, Ruthie Davis, it's a new name. Let me see here. All right, all right, Chabu Mafuki. That's my boy. Good morning, Ruthie. Woo, woo, woo. Oh yeah, you ready? We got the Cardio Clan. Stacy says she is feeling magnificent, and so are we. So is we. Miss Paris, where the fifty-one fifty folks at? Let me get it. My brother Blake. All right, what's going on, Miss Bush? Real jest. That is the man. It's one of the most well-dressed black people in America next to, I don't know, you can squeeze him next to a few people, but he's up there. Next to Michael Kaya. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, August 24th, show 254 or 255. I'm certain my girl, Rosemary, go hop in and let me know the, the right one. This show has been bananas all morning trying to get together. Everything crashed, had to start all over. But all the people on this show are troopers, baby. They was ready to go. Everybody said, okay, Colonel, let's roll out. But don't forget to subscribe. There is joy in the morning. There is healing in the morning. So much love in the morning There is music in the morning There is joy in the morning There is healing in the morning as you know, that's my boy, Moonlight Africa, and that was the original theme music for our show, uh, the Mark Kai Morning Show. There's so much love in the morning, so much light in the morning, if you see that, because what you see is what you get, y'all. This is Tuesday at the Mark Kai Morning Show. I hope you woke up with an attitude of gratitude, baby, because we ain't here to do the damn thing. Uh-oh, I cussed already, so... The cuss jar already has its first dollar as we regroup. And the person that won the money, uh, I hope you bought something nice with it. And you know what? Um, somebody won who shouldn't have. Rosa May, not Rosa May. Let me see. Somebody else won. Mr. We Howard. A.B. Howard, Ab Howard on Friday. Yeah. Because they, they mentioned it. They mentioned yeah, they, it. Yeah. They mentioned it today. Yeah. They didn't win. And what happened is I have a screenshot of the actual winner, and I'm going to put that up shortly. But right now, we're going to start out with our theme song because how can we start without a theme song? Where's that chicken? It's the Michael Collier Morning Show. Good morning, family. What can I say? What can I say? I woke us up. God woke us up. Day. Hey! So generous is wonderful. Y'all see the shirt? Great. So let's show our father we appreciate. God's good. God's good. God's good. Ba 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 do ba ba. Yeah! Good morning, family. What can I say? What can I say? I woke us up on a beautiful it's day. Beautiful. The generous is wonderful. It's got to be so kind. So let's show our father. It has to wake you up this morning. God's good. God's good, God's good. Ba 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 do ba ba. God's good. Hey, God's good. God's good. I used to say God's good. Now I 
say, we'll, we'll, Chicken we'll, is good and God is great. It's the Mike and Kaya Morning Show, y'all. Good morning. Get your feet on up. It's time to move about a little bit. Shake it up a little bit. Don't just lay there, lady. You can have that biscuit. It's going to move a little bit. Hey, get your groove on. It's the crack of dawn, y'all. It's time to get up and make it happen. All right. Hey, we got such a wonderful show for you today, man. We have two vocals on the show, and one is doing opera. We have models, comedians, uh, all the gospel strippers finally made it. No, we don't have no gospel strippers. Y'all yeah, been waiting for them for two years, and they not coming. You should know by now they're not coming. Hey, let me say hi to the folks on the side here. We've been here all morning trying to figure out what took us so long to get started. Hey, Cynthia uh, Cromati, good morning. Kamiko, good morning. Latria, Latria Daniel, greetings, greetings. Oh, I'm glad you love this hat. Let me say something about this hat. My girl, my niece, Kathy Sloan, who showed me all around D.C. this weekend, bought this hat for me. She said, Uncle Michael, as soon as you land, I'm getting you a hat. And she did pretty doggone good, didn't she? This ain't bad. Basic life, I need that in your life. Everybody needs some basic black in their life. If you know what I'm talking about, come on now. I see Miss Arkansas is in here with us today. Miss Arkansas went to Chicago and killed the game. She played riddles. She smashed them up for about six shows. I saw the pictures. I saw the pictures. All right. Come on, Sabrina Fields. I see you in the house. Country boy, comedian. I see you. Rosa May, every day. What can the players say? Hey, come on, y'all. We rolling the Mark Kaya morning show. All right. That's enough. That's enough. Hey, y'all, good morning. Let me bring my main man, 100 grand, back to the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. DJ Dave. What up, baby? Hold on, I'm doing a robot. I'm doing a robot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. What's happening, man? Man, so much wonderful stuff is happening. It's such a beautiful day. Um, we are so blessed to get up this morning. You know, a lot of people don't understand. You know, when you get sick, then you really appreciate help. You know what I'm saying? And um, well, I did. I had. To, I had, had people who know. Know I, I had COVID for 13 days, but I whooped his behind. Let me tell you something. When I got through with him, he thought he got jumped by the Crips, the Bloods, and the Blackstone Rangers. He lived. COVID lived out my house and apologized to me. But now one of my great friends has COVID. Him and his wife, and they're in the hospital now. Jesse Jackson, yeah. Reverend Jesse Jackson, and his wife. COVID. So COVID ain't no joke. Make sure you keep building your immune system. Like I've been talking about on here for over a year. Echinacea and golden seal, black seed oil, ginger root. You can take it raw and chew it, or you can do ginger root tea. And elderberry syrup. Do all these natural modalities, and they're going to clean you out. Now, whether you want to take a vaccine or not, that's up to you. That's up to you. I ain't getting into business like that. What goes on in your body, that's some personal stuff. Okay. I matter of fact, I don't want to hear about that. Okay. Well, how was your weekend, brother? Oh man, uh, I was up in Modesto to do a uh, 70s birthday party. And let me tell you about the Northern California area of Modesto. I call it meth, 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 uh -uh. uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. uh, I mean, oh man, it's just a lot of homelessness, a lot of, a lot of panhandling, a lot of dirty people. I go, ah, I'm like going, oh, get out of me, get away. I wouldn't have thought that. I hear Modesto and I think it's wine country. I think you're gonna be driving, seeing all these beautiful vineyards. But instead well, it's the meth heads. Well, vineyard, you know, you go up to 99, you don't take the five to the uh from here, from LA. But um mm -hmm. it was uh it was it was grimy. It was uh I was like, ooh, don't step on those syringes on that block. Whoa. <laughs> well, that sounds like a lovely weekend. Okay, uh I was at a club that was just absolutely amazing it's called the dc comedy loft and it used yeah. to be an old elite hotel and when you go in you look like you're in the old speakeasy bricks on the wall you get the big old kegs of beer sitting you know the old kegs the aluminum kegs uh, all around the floor it's just right. it's quaint and it's beautiful and the uh the comedians are right up on the stage in fact remember the girl i brought on here that told the place up called k love oh the real calm Calm, blessed with girth, girth, and she sat in her chair and told the place up. That's she it. drove three hours from Delaware just to come see the show. Well, you know I'm going to let her drive that far and not work. Put her on the stage. She shut it down. Uh -huh. yeah. And while I was in the mall, I met a kid, 22 years old, opera singer, bro. He is saying 
at, at uh, Carnegie Hall. I say, Negro, were you in the chorus? He said, no, I did solo at Carnegie Hall. He's going to be on singing today as well. So it's an awesome. Heard awesome him backstage. He, he smoked it up. He, yeah. You know what? He was going Acapulco with his uh, warm up. He, he just got me backstage on a comment. He has music to accompany that. So it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be great. Uh, the show is exciting. There's a lot of stuff going on. We're not going to hold y'all any longer, although I'd like to hold you forever. Remember where you are. It's the Michael Kaya morning show, five days a week, y'all, on YouTube. But you ain't got to watch it live. You can watch it day or night. Just go to YouTube and put in the Michael Kaya morning show. You can binge. You can watch five or six at a time, or you can just watch one while you're back and clean it up. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Everybody, like, subscribe, like, share. Subscribe, we need man. those numbers. You funny, but speaking of funny, why don't you hit that button and let's bring on our comedian for today. This young man has been here before, and he is hilarious. Go hit that button, I dare My man, oh yeah, y'all, it's comedy time. It's Michael Kaya's comedy um, platform. And we call it a platform because we're giving opportunities to all type of young up and coming comedians. We got some old ones came in too. But anyway, they all get a shot on this show. Today, this young man, we're bringing him back. He's so good. He, Although I think he might be a little egotistical because his middle initials are M E. I don't know how just happened to, that's a heck of a coincidence. Anyway, let's get our hands together for the wonderful Theodore. M E Taylor. Yeah, How's it going, everybody? How are we doing? Good morning. Good morning. Uh oh, let me bring you back and make. I just need you to go a little to your right so you're centered. Come oh, a little bit. Right. 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 right there. Right. Yeah. Right. Come on, y'all. Right. Uh, well, let's get started. Uh, I'm not originally from here. I'm not originally from this country. I came in when I was two years old. I'm from a country on the west coast of Africa. It's called Liberia, which makes me a fat African. Surprise, people, I'm a fat African. <laughs> Every time I tell somebody I'm African, they look at me like I just told them I was a freaking unicorn. You know what I'm saying? We exist. There's a, there's a couple of myths that go along with being African. One, that we're all skinny and emaciated. And two, we live off of 99 cents a day, which is bull, because I need two Jack in the Box sandwiches and that's two damn dollars if you do the damn math. And here's another thing, people. Here's another thing. Here's another thing. If a fly lands on my nose, I, I just knock it right off. I don't wait till it crawls over my face and eyeballs. We don't all do that. <laughs> Stop making fun of my cousin. <laughs> I haven't been back to Africa. I have not been back. Why? Because in some parts of Africa, girth is a sign of wealth. And I'm broke. And I don't want to all pissed off. As soon as I get off the boat, like, what is this? What is this? What the heck is this? You come to my country with a size 42 waist and tell me you can't help me with my bills? Get out the hell with your fat behind. This is ridiculous. <laughs> two, two sports Africans love. There's two sports we love. Uh, we love soccer and we love the marathon run. We love marathon running. My favorite thing yeah. is to watch uh, uh, marathon run <laughs> when it's third, second, and first because you can hear the fear in the announcer's voice because he can't pronounce those names. They're like, and in third place, here we go. Oh, here we go. Coming to third. Taking number three. Unfu Mayu Butu. All right. <laughs> Coming to number three. Making this country proud. Unfu Mayu Butu. All right. Number two. <laughs> here we go. Uh, number two. Um Butu Unfu May. All right. <laughs> Coming to number two. Making this country proud. Ubuntu, Fume. All right. And if you be American, please be American. Mother okay, here we go. Uh, uh, <laughs> coming in first. Get the gold. But set. Not not Savinia Jenkins. Uh, <laughs> Give it up, y'all. See it on M.E. Taylor here this morning. <laughs> you get two tickets on that one. Great set, young man. Great thank set. you, thank I, you, thank you, thank you. Talk to me for a minute. How long have you been doing comedy, Theodore? 
Actually, so I've been doing stand up since 2000. I started uh, right when I got out of college. I was doing, I was in theater, and I was like, let me try to do this too. So, as soon as I got out of, uh, got out of high school, I started. Now, are you able to just do comedy, or do you have to have a day job? Uh, well, I mean, I have more of a night job. Basically, I work from uh, work at night, and then uh, during the day, I just basically do anything stand up, stand up related. Uh, I have a show. Coming out on this Sunday on uh, New Faces at the Comedy Chateau. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Where the yeah. Comedy Chateau? Uh, uh, it's right near, uh, it's a funny thing, right near Highs uh, in North Hollywood. Oh, it's in, it's in Hollywood. Yeah. I haven't heard that. It's Hollywood. in Hollywood, which is in NoHo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Comedy Chateau, brother. I got to check yes. that out. I haven't even heard of that. Yeah, yeah, they. I think they just opened up. I'm, I'm honestly trying to get uh any type of gig I can get and trying to. Uh, well, I'm glad that you're here in LA. Man. We got to thank you, out thank you, because you're extremely funny, and we're honored to have you on the show this morning. Brother. Thank you, thank, thank you very you. much. We got to find you. Uh, we know they can go over to the chateau, but what else can they? Yes, uh, th uh, I've actually changed my. Uh, I changed my uh, Twitter and. Um, uh, uh, Instagram panel. It's Theodore Comedy. Theodore Comedy. Just everything mm -hmm. is going to be Theodore Comedy. You can find me that way. That's it. And, and that's mm -hmm. how they fan? Brother, yes, thank sir. you for coming this morning for lightening our hearts with a little Thank laugh. you for having me. Leave us with a woo-woo-woo Theodore M-E. Woo-woo-woo! <laughs> hey. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Theodore M-E Taylor right here on the Michael Gaia Morning Show. Man, it's a good show. Hey, will you do me a favor and hand me that hat? You know, I love the hat. My niece brought, brought, brought me this hat. I'm going to be wearing it probably all day long. But I also have a hat sponsor now. You saw a couple of hats by my hat, the hat sponsor. Uh, they are called No Man. No Man Hat, although it's two men. But they call it No Man Hat Company. They are off the chain. Um, and this is the one he sent me. I really like this one. Yeah, this one just came oh, in. Man. Yeah, that just came in yesterday. That was waiting in the mail when I came with it. I got the feather. Got that feather all crazy. Put that feather back there like that right there. I almost feel like Zoop Suit. Uh, David, it's sort of like Zoop Suit type of hat. You wear that with the long outfit. David has stepped out. I see, I don't see him in, a, in his room right now. But anyway, it is the No Man Hat Company, one of our new sponsors. Wait a minute. I got to show you. I thought I had another hat by them in here. No, there. Oh, this is a No Man too. Oh, yeah, this is No Man Hat Company, too. Ooh. What? So, anyway, uh, thank you, No Man Hat Company, for coming on and joining us. And, of course, David um, David Ford and David Ford's glasses are off the chain. I had a, a flyer of his I want to show you. Ernest Harden Jr. is coming up in one second, y'all. Hold on. Let me see if I have that, that David poster because David Ford, as you know, we be wearing David Ford glasses. David Ford. Um, sometime we go all the way Hollywood. David Ford. Okay, so I saw a photo of him that he had put an ad up. It was so good that I wanted to show it, but let me see if I could pull it right up. Right? David Ford. There you go. Hey, where'd you go? Your doo-doo? Where you go? I had a doo-doo. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Long as it's something natural. Okay, David Ford. Or let me see if this comes up or not. Okay, could there's a more professional name, but yes, I did have to uh open up the trap door. I don't see it. I was looking for David Ford. I incidentally found a picture of me wearing David <laughs> Ford glasses. But okay, <laughs> hey, you know what? Ernest Harden Jr. has been doing uh theater. I mean, I don't know if he did theater, but he's been doing television yes. for about I don't know about 114 years, something like that. Um he started, he started like at nine or ten years he, old. Yes, and hang and hasn't stopped working. That's the thing that killed me all this time. And y'all know I'm doing technical stuff when I'm looking down. I'm not ignoring y'all. I love y'all. I'm not ignoring y'all. But I just had a poster here of Ernest Harden Jr. that had I started on time and not crashed the system. I don't know how I crashed the system, Dave. I, I, we haven't done that before. We just, this you're, not, you're not back to uh, doing that again. No, no, no. no I'm not doing days. anything that uh, will inebriate me. Uh, but Ernest, let me go up to the top here and put it in. Ernest Harden. He sent me um, a, a show that he's doing, boom, called Bus Stop. At this so I, I meant to take this thing and put it up in such a way 
that it would just post up, but you could see it from there. That's you know, I'm from Good Times and more shows and Van Camp's got pork and beans and just a nice fella. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on a great actor, actor par excellence, Mr. Ernest Harden Jr. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. How you doing? How you doing, my brother? Yes, indeed. I'm glad to be here. Okay, of course. This is early. I'm glad that, that, that God woke me up this morning. It's this early, early for you? This is kind of early for me, you know what I mean? What can I say? You know, I'm in Los Angeles, even though I got my boys in Detroit, Detroit Lions. I'm a I'm a diehard Lion fan. I'm from Michigan, you know. What can I say? Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. I'm really mad at you. You know, I love Detroit. You know, uh -huh. you know anything about Henry the Hatter? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We grew up with Henry the Hatter. Oh, you, oh, you've been doing your research. Oh, about you know Detroit. about the Broadway? You know about the Broadway and City Slicker? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, nah, that's what all okay. the <laughs> Henry the Hatter. They would all. All the brothers would come out of Henry the Hatter looking like pirates of Pan Am, you know, back in the day. <laughs> With all yes. these and stuff. Do you know the judge down there, Judge Craig Strong? You know I know Judge Craig Strong. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he loved that hat. Yeah, he's a he's an amazing guy. You know Craig Strong. He's all over. He's more Hollywood than uh, the people that live in Hollywood. He's always out here at some uh, fair, some red carpet. You know he's he's uh, he's an amazing guy. Real judge. A real yeah, judge. He's, he's an older gentleman, but he still aspires to be a Hollywood star. And he's a serious judge. He's the guy who gave the dude 162 years plus life. And mm. the guy said, I, I'm supposed to do all, all that. I can't do all that time. And he said, you just do as much as you can, you know. Right. <laughs> Ernest, let's talk about you. Good Times was your first big major hit, though, huh? Uh, I, didn't, I did Good Times. I was on it once, and they show it like crazy. But my first um, national hit was the Jeffersons. I played the character Marcus. Marcus from the Jeffersons. I did that for four years, and uh, yeah, it was a great cast. Hey, they could have buried me over there. I really enjoyed just working on that show, um, and it was. I had a lot of fun. You know, great working with Sherman Hemsley and. Uh, and and Isabel Sanford and Marla Gibbs, as a matter of mm -hmm. fact, Marla Gibbs, she's from Chicago originally, but she came and she had all her, her children in Detroit. And uh, I knew her before I knew her in Detroit when I was uh, growing up. I knew um, I went to high school and my high school a friend of mine took me over to her house and introduced us to uh, her and her daughter. And it was like great before any of the Jeffersons. And then when I came out to LA, years later, after I went to college, I went to Michigan State, mm -hmm. and uh, graduated with a degree in theater, and then, you know, finally ended up in LA. I got on the show, and I saw her son, and I said, well, what are you doing here, man? He said, I'm here with my mother. I said, oh, Miss Gibbs, and we reconnected. So that's amazing. We reconnected on a TV show. How'd you get that job? I auditioned, actually, the Jeffersons. Yeah, you just auditioned. I actually auditioned for it, and uh, for some reason, they liked me. I don't know. I fooled them, you know. And uh, <laughs> Yay. So what, do you, what do you consider your biggest gig besides that? What acting role did you have bigger than that that you loved? Well, the Jeffersons gave me a lot of national fame mm -hmm. and uh, international fame, actually. And what, uh, but I, the one I liked the most was I starred with a movie uh, called White Mama, starring opposite Miss Betty Davis. Wow. Yeah. See, that, that's real history. Yeah. I, Betty Davis. How old was she then? Like 90? She was, no, she was probably in her 80s or something, but it was one of her last movies. And mm -hmm. uh, we got to be, Jackie Cooper directed it, right. and uh, Eileen Hackard. Is wow. also had third lead, who's also an Oscar winner. Mm -hmm. uh, another sister named Virginia Capers was also. Oh, a, come on, slow it down. Don't go you know, it. Virginia Capers, Broadway star, you know. Miss Virginia Capers. So I was surrounded by uh, a lot of people, a lot of great people, Oscar winners. And it was just a, it was just an amazing experience. And uh, Betty and I got to be very tight afterwards. Matter of fact, I'm the only black to ever stop opposite her or have her as a leading lady. 
uh, period. And uh, matter of fact, now I'm probably the only person alive that ever starred opposite her because uh, most of those old legends. I mean. so I'm, I'm know, still kicking it, you know what I mean? I don't know any actor can say he worked with Betty Davis. I, no, that's, no, you're that's, looking that's at him. Amazing. You so know, what so, do you have coming up? I just saw you sent the the the, the picture you sent me. Is that coming up? Is bus stop? Yeah, coming up? That matter of fact, yeah, that's bus stop is coming out in November. Uh, it's actually going to be a lot on the film, uh, the uh, film festival circuit. Peach and uh, the Bulls, the Bulls, the Bulls is is the uh, director and producer of that one. She's great. As a matter of fact. This uh, weekend, they're going to honor me over at uh, the Hudson Theater, and she's uh, she's the one I'm getting an uh, um, award from, and well, that's a Lifetime third, Achievement Award. Yeah, is this the third biannual Pioneer Award? Exactly, exactly. And also the fourth biannual Mayan Industry Awards. Mayan Industry Awards. Yep. You and uh, see, I got to show this. I'm sorry. Okay, people, if you look real close. That's him on. That's him. On the Jefferson. Yeah. That was that was Marcus Henderson, and that's my man Sherman Emsley, and right. then that's me with Betty Debbie Davis. Davis, and I also starred in White Man Can Jump. I was one of the stars of that. Me and um, Wesley and Woody Harrelson and um, Kadeem Hardison talking about each other's mother. Your mother is so fat; she has to iron her pants in the driveway. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then also I did. I know I don't have much time, so I want to definitely mention Velvet Jesus. Uh, we mm. talked about it a little bit before, but Velvet Jesus is a very, very heavy film that's um, September the 10th, we're going to premiere it here in Los Angeles. And uh, I'm starring in that one, along with uh, Jason Atwood. Uh, it's directed by Sir Collins and uh, Anthony B Braun and uh, written by Charles McWells. And it's a really, it's a heavy piece about abuse and what black folks don't talk about that much. Man, but, uh, we need to talk you know, more. It's yeah. an important film. It's an important Very film. important. Ernest, tell people how they can find you because you got so much stuff you can tell people. Folks be able to write you and stuff and say, Ernest, send me one of them hats from the Jeffersons or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can. I don't know if I have anymore. <laughs> but they can write they anyway. Them off me when I was back then, back then, you know. Okay, tell us how people can find you. They can find me at Ernest Harden Jr. Um, at uh, Ernest Harden Jr. at Facebook, Ernest Harden Jr. at Instagram, and Ernest Harden Jr. on Twitter. I'm on all of it. Well, brother, I thank you. I appreciate you. I love you, man. Can you I love you too? I mean, yeah. you are a a legend. You know, like I said, I used to see you on the beach. I said, this brother came up, and so you're an American. You're an American story. You you are an American success story, honestly. And uh, I, 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 my respect, that. total respect, my brother. Yeah. My love to you, sir. Give us a woo 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 for you leave today. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> That's a good woo, woo, woo. Ladies and gentlemen, Ernest Harden Jr. in the house. David, come on in, man. Let's give him some love. There you go. There you go. Yeah, this is the on you. I remember that. <laughs> Thank you, bro. See you soon. Thank you. Thank Ernest you. Harden Jr. That was fantastic. You know what? I got a guy coming on, Zay. Yeah, I got a guy coming on right now. Zay Taylor, would you do me a favor, dear? Hand me those cigars. Zay Taylor is a cigar impresario, if there's such a thing as that, Dave. Um, this brother sent me these beautiful cigars, and I said, well, you got to come on and talk about it. I want you to see the beauty of the box itself. The boxes. The boxes. Oh, is that, it looks like it's upside down. Let's go this way. There you go, Zay Taylor. Cigar company. He got the brown lacquered box. You know, he sent to me everything. What I was most blown away by was the lacquered ashtray. You know, and I was just about to give up smoking cigars too, but I'm gonna smoke at least four more because he sent them. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, um, cigars is a big thing these days. We can set that right on top of that. Cigar is a big thing these days. It's more like a it's more like a social thing you do. You're not you're not doing it because you want 
the uh, the cancer. No, you're not doing it because you want the tobacco as much as you're doing it cause, as you're socializing. You're smoking. If you're drinking, you're drinking. And you get in these circles. It's a power thing, too. It's like a power circle. Well, so they are popular. And I don't know how Zay found me, but he said, hey, brother, I want to you know, bless you with these cigars because I see you smoke. So, ladies and gentlemen, get your hands together for the wonderful Zay Taylor. Right here with them cigars and things. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah. My new assistant is crazy. I think she smoked a fat one and then she said, Give me that chicken. Okay, Zay, what's going on, sir? Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm hmm. Tell me about your cigars, brother. When you start playing with cigars, you did cigarettes for a while and you said, I'm going to go up, or what, what happened? You know, uh, to be honest, I'm fairly new to smoking cigars. Uh, like you said, it's a social thing. I've seen it growing, I've seen it becoming real popular. And uh, decided to get on this train uh, of selling them, you know, with, with, our, with our own brand. Uh, I've only been smoking cigars like heavily for about a little over a year. And um, you go around these people, and everybody has cigars at these social gatherings, and they're real, they're real particular. They hold on to them. They don't want to, you can't smoke my cigar, you know. This is a good one, you know. And uh, I've seen people were really like taking it personal. So, we decided to create our own brand and and and, and capitalize on this market out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, uh, so do our you brand is. Smoke them or do you just sell them? Uh, both. Now, I, you know that old saying. Like, I think it's easy to said, You know, don't get half your own supply. So I smoke other cigars mostly. Uh, not that I don't like ours. I just you know I'm here to sell ours. <laughs> um, right. We got plus I, probably more variety in your life. You more, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. Th these are our ours are good cigars, but they're not the only cigar out there. You know, um, I got into this because I'm I'm a sales manager at a uh, Harley Davidson store, Orange County Harley Davidson, and okay. a lot of motorcycle riders I see them they park and they pull out these their cigar and they it's, they go hand in hand the motorcycles and cigars. So um, we market our cigars towards motorcyclists, but they're good for everyone. And over the past year, I've tried, I don't know how many cigars to try to figure out what I like. And I came up with four different blends that okay. I feel is universal for everyone. And the package that I sent you, uh, it's like a beginner setup. I had one, a high school friend that Love said, it. Chuck, I need, I need a whole setup, Chuck. You know, like I need. To, I see you smoking cigars on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, send me a, a complete package, and I said no problem. I'll, I'll ship it to you and show you how to work everything. And, and if they uh, couldn't see that, you had the cutter in there to cut the cigar. He yeah. had the lighter in yeah. there. He has a puncher in case you rather punch them instead of cutting them. He got the ashtray in there, and he put four cigars in that pack. In that that the, you this pack. Yep. Yep. Was that? Are you willing to give one of those away? Absolutely. So, uh, anybody mm. that's watching the show, go to our Instagram page, Zay Taylor Cigars, and I'm going to post a picture of. I have two uh, humidor boxes. I have a black one, black lacquer, and I have the cherry one that I sent you. I'm going to post mm. a picture of both of these on our Instagram page, and I want you to comment Michael Coyer on there. Let me know that you're watching the show, and at the end of the week. Uh, we're going to pick a winner, and we're going to send out a complete package. Okay, so when you pick that winner and send the package, you have to send me the name and information of okay. that winner so you can announce it on the show. All right, perfect. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And if you if you smoke cigars, you know what to do now. They can go to your Instagram. Tell them what your Instagram is. The Instagram is Zay Taylor Cigars, Facebook Zay Taylor Cigars, and our website Zay Taylor Cigars. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, I I really appreciate you. I appreciate you taking the time to do this and to share, man. What's what's the value? Can I can we say what's the value, the value of the lacquer yeah. box? So the value of this box is $140. You're getting our four okay. signature cigars, you're getting an ashtray, uh torch, cutter, a humidifier pack, everything you need to get started. Mm, my man, thank you. And tell them again, where do they go to put in to win that? So uh, okay. after the show, I'm going to post a picture of both humidors. Just comment on that picture, Michael Coyier, so I know you're on the show. And then mm -hmm. I'll let Michael know at the uh, on Friday who we chose as a winner. We're going to just pick a random person out of a hat, uh, out of everybody that comments. Mm -hmm. uh, tag somebody also, you know, tag a friend or a smoker 
These are also, if even if you don't smoke, this is a good gift. Father's it's a Day, big gift. you know, Mother's Day, uh, birthdays, Christmas. I'm about to put together a bunch of packages for Christmas, so uh, get ready to place your order. Uh, again, we've only been doing this for a couple months, and it's blowing up. I've sent out so many of those boxes so far. It's working out. So I really appreciate you with you just starting for you to share and give a box, man. But don't worry, because when you give, the universe gives it back to you. So you're right. gonna see you're gonna see great value in it. And we appreciate you so much, man. Can you leave us with a woo woo woo? Woo 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> you add a woo to that nigga. Okay, give it up to my man. Chuck Z Taylor Cigar. Woo! That was great. Hey y'all, it's Michael Kaya morning show and you know one of the things we do like to do around here is we do like to recognize the historical black colleges and universities because you know we black Oh my God, I love black people. You know, black people are my favorite people in the whole wide world. Now, now, that don't mean I don't like other people. I love all the people, but you better love who you are first. So I, I walk into a room full of white people and tell them black people, my favorite people in the whole wide world. And when you loving yourself, then it's easy to love others. It's hard for you to love other people when you get all this doubt and fear about who you are, where you from. You know, this is a crown I'm wearing. I'm a king. I know I come from Africa. I know the source from which I, ca I couldn't have came from Italy. I, I couldn't have come from Spain. I know where I come from, and I embrace that. And historical black universities are the bomb because it's different being taught by uh, folks who actually know your culture and history because it's their culture and history. Yeah. Then it has some yeah. white folks giving you some facts for you to memorize. It's a whole different type of thing, you know? So my experience, my hey. experience at Texas Southern University was the best years of my life. I didn't even finish, but I tell you that my, my college experience was the <laughs> This nigga, I didn't even finish. Hey, well, I, I had different aspirations. <laughs> and I'm with you, bro. I went to Chicago State University. You want to see my pool? Didn't finish. Uh, I want to see my pool, but you got the pool. That's what I'm saying. You ain't got as much of it as you need and keep it moving. Okay, all right, look, I got to jump to prayer right now. Right after prayer, Kelly is going to come in and rock, and then we're going to be opera singer, Blake uh, Hawkins. Um, something real special dropped in I didn't expect that. It's really cool. Uh, Ren Renata Wiggins has models who's going to do a quick, short fashion show, and then we're going to end with the awesome voice of, of Celeste, Miss Celeste Butler. Okay, um, Oh, I got to tell you, you know, today is Tuesday, so we will, we'll be reading books to the children today. Not only will I be reading the books to the children, but there's a 12-year-old author. Her name is Imani Ariana. She's written three books. The fourth one she's still working on, so she's going to read one of her books today. And I got to do a shout-out, shout-out to my girl, Karen Dickerson. Karen Dickerson, because uh, she sent me some books. This one, Who Moved My Cheese? This is a book she sent me. This is not for kids. That's that's for me. Um, and it says, the story of Huma Machis has become a runaway and national best hit. It would be all so easy if I had a map to the maze, if the same old routines worked, if they just stopped moving the cheese. But things keep changing. You know, and when things keep changing in life, you got to change with them. So she sent me that one. She sent me this one. God made us just right. That's one I could read to the kids. What do you think? Mm, yeah. That's cute. And then she sent me two of these, so I'll be giving these away. My pretty pink 
Bible. It's a sticker purse. Have you ever heard of a sticker purse? Yeah. You've heard of a sticker purse. So so it's like a purse inside. You have these, these pictures. Wait a minute. You have the pictures, and then you have stickers that you could put on the picture. Where the, and see, the stickers are in the back. And then you take the different stickers and you put them. Your little girl would love these. I'll be giving one of these away this week and one next week on the show when I read to the kids. So we read to the kids on Instagram. That's at 11 a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time or L.A. Time. So that's uh, noon Central Time. Yes, noon Central. No, no, no. Central is two hours ahead of us. So that'll be one Central time and two o'clock Eastern time. Thank you again, Karen Dixon. I love you. I love you. I love when I come back from the road and there's all kind of gifts and things waiting for me. I think, ain't nothing wrong with gifts. You know, I talked on the show today, I mean, this weekend about love and relationships and relationships are about, um, relationships are about uh, giving to each other. You know, it's about reciprocation. You're supposed to try to love each other up. You're supposed to see if you can outgive each other, outflower each other. Do whatever you can to show the other person more love than that person shows you. And it should be a contest that never ends, you know? So when I see love coming at me, I just stop or open my arms and embrace it and say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Let's get into prayer. We're going to start with a holy breath. Hold that breath. Hold it for a moment. Now think right now. One positive thing you absolutely want to happen today. Now exhale. Mm, that feels good. Life feels good, Father God, so we thank you for giving it to us. Father God, we're opening our hearts, our souls, our minds, our spirits, and inviting you to come on in and fill us with all that love you have, all that joy, all that understanding and kindness, the sense of forgiveness, the sense of uh, of generosity, helping other people, reaching out to other people, knowing that anything we give to others, we give to ourselves. If you ever really want to have anything anyway, you got to learn to give all to all. If you give everything to everybody, you have so much stuff, you won't have no place to put it. So I say thank you for that. Thank you for letting us think that way, Father God. Oh, Father God, we pray that you bless us today and bless us indeed. We pray that you enlarge our territories greatly. We pray that your hand will be with us and guide us past evil. We will cause no pain. You know, that prayer is called the prayer of Jabez. And I say that prayer at least once a day, every single day. And I watch my fortunes increase because within that prayer, that simple prayer, Father God, I pray that you bless me today and bless me indeed. I pray that you enlarge my territory greatly. I pray that your hand will be with me and guide me past evil and I'll cause no pain. It encompasses everything you need to make your day and your life flow. Father God, I pray that you bless me today. And bless me indeed. It almost sounds like you're being selfish when you say, would you bless me today? And you bless me in a DED. But you got to love you first. Love starts at home. Once you love you, then it emanates to everyone else. When you ain't loving you, you can't help nobody else. New York, get your fist balled up. You're going to shock somebody. But when you love you, you give it to the world. So I said, oh, Father God, I pray that you bless me. And then you bless me indeed. That means put some stank on it. You know, don't just bless me a little bit. Give me a lot of blessings, okay? Secondly, I pray that you enlarge my territory. Look at me big so much, my hand look like a cup. But I pray that you enlarge my territory. Whatever I have, I don't care if I get $15 or $15 million. Expand that. Enlarge my territory. I pray that your hand will be with me and guide me past evil. So I will cause no pain. That's like if you, you got your baby and y'all out walking through like, the, uh, let's say a circus or some big outing with thousands of people, you want to hold that baby's hand. So you guide them past evil. You don't want to step on no garbage on the street. You don't want nobody to snatch your baby. You want to guide you towards away from evil and towards light and joy and peace and power. You put all that together and you have the prayer you need to start your day on fire. So Father God, I pray that you bless me today and bless me indeed. I pray that you enlarge my territory greatly. I pray that your hand will be with me and guide me past evil and I will cause no pain. That's the, that's the big part, that I will cause no pain. I mean, you're here to live your life and love your life and un unfold into your greater self. But if you can get away from hurting other people, don't bring pain to other people, no matter what you do with yourself. Hit yourself with a stick, but don't hit nobody else. As long as you do not bring pain, then you'll be bringing the opposite. You'll be bringing joy, love, light, and peace 
Then we do what we're supposed to do. Finally, Father God, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. My life, my career, this show. Woo! I was dancing the Harlem Shuffle this morning. Trying to get this show together. I, the thing, it crashed. I had to re- uh, open it. I didn't even know how to do that. Dave was sitting up there giggling like a little girl, knowing I'm in trouble, but he ain't helping. He just walking around. <laughs> I think you'll figure this out. Anyway, I had to figure it back out, and we did figure it out. Me and Dave together, we figured that thing out. We re-sent the link to everybody, and every single person was cool with it. They said, boom, got it. Let's go. Oh, that's God. All that's the makings of God. All that's the love of God. So all you got to do is just stay positive. Keep God first. And our health will continue to grow. Keep on staying natural. So, Father, thank you. Thank you, Father God, for our lives. Thank you for everything. Thank you for healing David Ford's mama. She's just getting better and better. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for Kelly. Thank you for the house. Thank you for my puppy. And Thor, Kelly keeps on putting up this beautiful picture of my boy Thor who transcended. And the thing is... We got his ashes back. They cremated him. So we got his ashes back in the urn. To, uh, to, it came back like, wow, I was out of town. Kelly just sent me a picture of the box. She said, baby, I can't open that without you here. I can't well, by myself. I'm not opening that box. So we're going to open the box today and see his urn. But I am so thankful even for that. I got a fan picture. Hold up. And y'all know all this is still in prayer. We're still in prayer. Hold up. Don't let go. All right. Um, Kelly. And she put the picture up of our big boy. Where that big boy? I love sweet potato. Oh, mama, I don't even see the picture. You put the picture up. And I don't even see it. You just put it up again. It's on your Instagram. Okay, well, I can't, I can't continue prayer without that. I'll bring the picture back, y'all, before the show is over. Anyway, Father God, thank you for all of it. Keep healing us, holding us, loving us. Make sure that this day is super califragilistic. Then put some steak on it. Continue to be the wind beneath our wings, Father God. We ain't afraid. We trust you with reservation. We continue to love you because we know you're going to continue to love us no matter what. God, you are great and we appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Was that your stomach? I don't think your so. stomach just sang a song just now. <laughs> we thank you for all of it. Thank you for joy, Father God. Thank you for laughter because if you can laugh through a thing, you can get through a thing. Thank you for you, God. Finally, we say amen. 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 Ashe. Boom shakalaka. And the famous words of those of us who call ourselves the Kaya clan. Woo, woo, woo. All right, David, that was a good prayer. I don't care what you say. Woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> hey, we're about to let Kelly rock right now, David. Let's go ahead and let Kelly rock up in here. Uh, let me see what my amen comments. Anybody see? Anybody hear the prayer? Did y'all hear the prayer? Was y'all here? Yeah, they were. There you go. All right. There the amen. Hey. Let's bring Kelly in because, <clears throat> as you know, Kelly rocks. Grandest Risings, Blessed, what is this, Tuesday? Tuesday. Yay. Welcome to Kelly Rocks. And um, yeah, anyway, uh, Thor is home. So we're grateful for that, that he his ashes have made it here. I just could I was not going to open that box. But on a lighter note, um, this moon stone. Greetings and blessings. I see you guys in the comments. Thank you so much. Uh, Black, uh, Black moon stone is actually from Madagascar. Um, you know, so many of the beautiful elements that are transferred for money and all these great things come from Mama Africa, Madagascar. So this, this right here is Black Moonstone. What kind of moonstone? It. It's Black Moonstone. What, what, what kind of that again? Black, Black Moonstone. Moon okay. So as you know, or you may or may not remember, most stones that are black have an energy wow. of grounding and protection. Um, this is another version of it, but it's mixed with Peach Moonstone. So I wanted to show you quality and a different type of, this is, of course, of higher quality. So it will cost more, of course, but I just want you to see the significance in that. And it typically has like a little flash on it, the higher quality, the better polishing and uh, of the stone. 
So you can see that peach color in there. You can see the black. You see that iridescence, rainbowy kind of thing going there. Like I said, it's really great for uh, grounding and protective energy. Some of the bullet points I want to touch on is if you have, um, like you're in a bad mood and your mood needs to be lifted. This is great for bringing you from a bad mood to a good mood. It's good for people who have gone uh, through a breakup because you you live together and you have a relationship and you draw on each other's energies and those kind of things. Someone that you have totally shared your whole energies with. So it's great for people who have gone through uh, breakups. It pushes you through emotional distress. If you're going through something in your head, a lot of stuff is going on in people's heads right about now with so much going on. Greetings and blessing. Hey, sacred works. Um, so um, yeah. It is a it is a great moonstone. That's because this is called a free form. So it is heavy. It sits. So it, it it's self-standing. So it would sit for home decor in your home. Does it help with mental disorders? Well, I say prayer helps with mental disorders. I think there are a lot of stones that are really great for grounding and protective energies. Um, and I cannot promise nor, and I'll have a disclaimer that it's not going to necessarily ground someone with mental disorders. Okay. So, um, it keeps your head clear, you know, uh, when you work with moonstone, just a couple more notes, um, for meditative, um, um, when you, uh, especially women and maybe some men need to bring out their feminine side. I don't know. We got to have some kind of yin yang, some type of balance in ourselves really great for meditating to bring out your uh, feminine energies, your divine uh, feminine. Clear decision-making, creativity, grounding, protection. Get you some. Moonstone. What are you wearing? This right here is a Super 7. You make that one? Yeah, I did make what? this one. That is gorgeous. That yeah, is let me take it off and put it in the is light. Is it purple in there? I see some purple color on that corner where your finger is. Isn't yeah. Purple. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. All right. Yep. So thank you for joining Kelly Rock. Some of you guys had comments last week. I think it was Jeff Rich. If you all send your messages over to the Earth Girl Essentials, then I don't necessarily have to scroll through the hour and a half worth of comments. Uh, you were asking if I had any more um Shungite. So hit me up at the Earth Girl Essentials is how I can be found. Not that I'm lost, but you can locate my page at the Earth Girl Essentials. Do not follow me, please. Come on, lead with me. Let's get grounded here in this crazy, busy body world, okay? Peace and light to you all. Uh, have a beautiful every day. And woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. All right, see you. Thank you. Kill it rocks, kill it rocks. You told them how to reach you, right? I did. Okay, fantastico. All right, I got to do this real quick. If I go to my... That's at the Earth Girl Essentials. That was Kelly called Kelly Rocks. Um, I had to go in and see if I, if it's easy to find. I'm trying to see if I find this. Okay, thank you. Um, Where is it? There they go. Okay, so the winner... It was of the, the cash jar, y'all. The winner turned out to be uh, Miss Debbie Howard right at 11.07. Two people put in the number. And the cash was Nellie Baby. The cash jar. Oh, cash jar was Nellie Baby. Well, what is this that they won? There was a thing that there was a dispute about, honey. Nellie. Uh, Nellie's not in this, baby. You're talking about something else. Please stop. Thank you. The guy named Abe Woodard was who we said was the winner of whatever this prize was. They, they, they know what the prize is, whether they won it or not. Um, I got 50 things over him thinking about, honey. So uh, it helped me if you're not going back and forth with me on it. So um, so whoever was for the win, we had given it to Abe. He had said 389, but it was closer to of uh, the number no he had 337 he had 337 and she had what does she have she had ah 
Maybe it was Rosa May. She had 350. Rosa May had 350. Let me go to the bottom and see if they say, so awesome. They love your stones, honey. Love Kai Clan. Woo, woo, woo. Debbie, Debbie, woo, woo, woo. Thing. Anyway, I just want y'all to, I just want to show y'all the, the numbers so you will see. I just want y'all to know that we don't ever deliberately try to beat nobody out of nothing. So y'all figure that out. If Abe, if you have a problem with not being the winner, just call me and I will show you this and talk you through this and walk you through it, brother. Okay. All right. And just keep on playing. We're going to have games all the time when people can win money and you have another chance if you keep on playing. Look at here. We're going to opera. I know. Did you know we had great opera singers? Yes, I did. Um, um, Leontine Price stood on the stairs of uh, the Capitol and sang, and what the Capitol, I got the wrong building. I was just in D.C. I said, no, way, building. Anyway, we have a, a strong tradition of black opera singers, but I have, I don't meet that many. And so I was at the mall, um, and this gentleman walks up to me and said he sings the opera. I said, really? We, we had to close So I said, sing not again. And he broke in the song. I said, oh, shit. Oh, I mean, I had to put a dollar in the cash jar. <laughs> David, come on, make sure I put that dollar in. And I said, sing this. So he did really good. So I actually brought him on to the comedy show uh, that night. And him and his mother came. His mother's fantastic. And he came on and sang a song. So I'm bringing him here to, to, for y'all to meet him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, get your hands together for one of our young black opera singers. After this, Renato Wiggins is here with uh, some fashion. And then, oh, my God, Celeste Butler is going to blow the roof off. All right. David, let's get to the, uh, this gentleman, David, is singing, singing and young, too, yes. 20 years old, already sang at Carnegie Hall. You know, I'm wow. I'm, away. I'm impressed by him. And so let's bring him on light right now. Get your hands together for the wonderful Blake Hopkins. Woo! Blake, I look at the Hey, good morning, hey. Blake Hopkins. How are you? Fantastic. You nice even stand person. like an opera singer. Is that the opera singer's stance? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this Carnegie Hall thing. How did you get to go to Carnegie Hall? Well, well I was I, uh, I attended um, George Mason High School, and, and I was a part of the um, band there. I was their singer. Mm -hmm. And then um, the choir director, um, asked me if I wanted to sing at Carnegie Hall. And I, without hesitation, I was like, of course. Thank so you. after that, um, yeah, I went to New York and it was such a beautiful evening and the stage was just amazing, breathtaking. How many black people was there singing that, that day? Just me. <laughs> so your mother must be proud of you. So yeah. what are you gonna sing for us today, Blake? Uh, today I'll be seeing Quando Ti Rivedro by Stefano Donati. Yikes, that's Italiano. Yeah. Okay, people, so y'all better get some culture in your life and quit playing. This young man, 22 years old, y'all, some of some of our excellence. Uh, please, my man, enjoy yourself and, and show us what you're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Blake Hopkins. Oh, 
from the song you sang for me, because he can do contemporary as well in an operatic voice. Go ahead. Okay. This is um, The Impossible Dream from Man of Lamarche. Okay. This is my quest to follow the star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right without question or pause. To be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. And I know if I only be true to this glorious quest, that my heart will lie peaceful and calm when I'm laid to my rest. Thank you. <laughs> my man, 22 years young. Okay, tell me what's happening now. You're going to college now? Yes, I am studying um, vocal performance at Boston Conservatory at Berkeley. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And this is my last year. This is my victory lap. So I'm going to finish <laughs> off strong and off to the races. And I'm looking at um, grad schools in New York City and Europe as well. Brother, we are so proud of yes. you. <laughs> Tell people how they can find you. Somebody want to write you a note or reach out to you. Where do they go? Yes, so I'm on Instagram. Blake Miles Hopkins Journey. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm also on Facebook as well, Blake Miles Hopkins Journey as well. Well, we're proud of you. Everyone, please follow me and support me. This is my dream. So, yes. So, thank you. Thank you, Michael, so much. I hope your mother is watching this. I know she's so proud of you. She, she sacrificed so much for me, and I'm so happy to have her in my life. Can you leave us with an operatic woo woo woo? Woo 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 woo. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was Blake Hopkins right here on the Michael Kaya Morning Show. That was good. <laughs> that was a good, a good woo woo woo. Hey, you Man. know, Renata came last week, Renata Wiggins, and she got a chance to talk. And then she had talked about her models. And I said, well, yes, one thing to talk about. But let's be about it, you know? So she said, well, I'll come back and bring some models if you don't think I know. So anyway, she is black. I mean, she is back. Ladies and gentlemen, get your hands together for Renata Wiggins. Woo! You better wear that hat, Claire. What are you doing? Hey, thank you for having me yet again. Thank yay, you. Yay, yay. Give me another brief overview for the folks who don't remember last week of what it is you do. Okay, so we're producing a fashion show titled Males and Hills Fashion Show, and it's geared towards the Pride community. Um, mm -hmm. The show's going to be September the 26th, and I decided to bring a few of the models today to just kind of give you a feel of what they're going to be bringing the day of. We're going to have shopping. We're going to have performers there, and we got vendors and food and drinks. It's going to be an amazing time, but we're not stopping there. We're going to do a mini tour in the city of California. So where is the event you're doing? The first event, where is it? It's going to be at the East Angle downtown on Anderson Street. I have a flyer. I wish I would have 
gave it to you so you can showcase it here, but it's going to be 670 South Anderson. And what city? Los Angeles, California. It's right here in LA. Whoa, I didn't know that. Okay, okay. And, and if you send me the flyer, I can post it tomorrow or the next day and remind okay. people of it, okay? Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. So, All right, I don't know the DJ going to give us a little music to vibe to so the models can kind of come out. What you like? What you okay? Well, um, sure, let's do okay. It. So, we're gonna be ready when you are. Watch this. I know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Here we go. How does that sound, Renata? Sounds good. I'm gonna cut it up. so much god bless you we need thank you so much renata and we put the poster up did you just see it i did thank you so much and i'll also post that for you within the next day or so and i'll remind people on the show tomorrow and the next day to make sure they come and check y'all out y'all are fantastic <laughs> y'all better kill it <laughs> yay thank y'all and see you soon tell them how to reach you renata they can follow me on Instagram at Thunder Ravishing underscore Renata, or they can add themselves to my page, which is Mills and Hills, or they can find me on Facebook just up under Renata Wiggins. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. See the audience and say y'all fire. They all over. Oh, they love it. Fabulous show. <laughs> All right, we just love y'all and thank you again. Good luck on your on your show. I hope it's super super successful. Thank you. Hey, all of y'all together, can y'all say woo, woo, woo? Woo, woo, woo! That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, y'all. It's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. Oh, we done brought it all today. We the man. Y'all done had a little bit of everything, and the show's still pretty much on track. We ain't, they, we ain't go off that bad. We only you can thank me. You can thank me. Yes, well, thank you. I don't know. <laughs> well, okay. This young lady, I'm so excited, y'all. We're wrapping this thing up the right way. Um, this young lady is a great vocalist that I've trying to reach her the last couple of days. Couldn't reach her because she in the studio putting down more great music. She is lovely and she probably got the best teeth in the industry. Get your hands together for Miss <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> Great, you look like life, you know. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm feeling it. I'm like, God is good. I really can't complain. And like you said, the doors have been opening and blessings have been coming down. So I'm just, I'm pleased and I'm blessed to be a part of the show. Thank you for having me. Yay! Tell me the kind of stuff you're doing. Oh, the list goes on and on. But I, I kind of split my time between entertainment. So I'm a singer, a songwriter. I also act, and I've been basically working with nonprofits in the arts and culture communities uh, throughout Los Angeles and San Diego. Um, I have to give a shout out to Ashley and Skylar who connected us. Uh, we've been in the studio working and writing. So a lot of different things going on, but all kind of in alignment you know, with what I'm trying to do. Do you know Skylar's last name? 
Skylar Lex. Lex. Skylar Lex, y'all. That boy bad. Him <laughs> and Ashley are awesome as a team. Skylar has put together and worked with some of the greatest musicians on this planet. This brother is bad boy. He's been doing this for a minute. So, yes, we're sending love up to Ashley and Skylar because Ashley kept telling me about you. You got to get on the show. You got to get on the show. <laughs> so I'm so very grateful to have you here. <laughs> no, honestly, they're, both of them are like that, though. They're like, once they believe in you, they're really fighting for you and showing up in every way. So I truly appreciate them. And I'm just I'm excited to be here, excited to be a part. So what were you in the studio doing? You was in the studio for 10 hours the other day. What, what is that, an album? I know. We literally record, so we are recording an album. We literally recorded six songs that day that you were trying to call and I was like, oh my gosh, I saw my phone. I was like, I'm so sorry. I had what, like barely a voice left. I'm like, I just recorded, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm working because it's the Brassroots District Show, which is a live immersive theater concert experience that people come Wait, to the show. You talk too fast. You talk too fast. Say oh, that again. I'm sorry. I know. It? <laughs> I do talk fast. It's Brassroots District, Brassroots Live District. in the Lot 73 is the show title. And it's an immersive theater concert experience where basically you dress up. It's supposed to be in the year 1973. So you dress mm -hmm. up in your 70s threads, your platforms, your bell bottoms, everything. You come to the show and you're immersed and you're basically a part of the show. So, you know, characters are talking to you as if you're another character in 1973. And the whole premise is that the band, Brassroots District, is having their big break, right? So we're opening for Sly and the Family Stone. Record executive is coming to check us out. And the storyline kind of unfolds along that premise. That sounds fantastic. I yes. swear. That sounds amazing. It's a good time. It's a good time. Is that it right there? Oh, that is it right there. <laughs> and the I play a character named Ursula Baker. in the lot, summer, 73, immersive <laughs> concert yes. experience about an L.A. funk band on the rise. That is so awesome. So the people who come to it are immersed in it. It's like yes. they're part of this story that you're telling. And they're in the 70s outfit. <laughs> How much fun is that? It's honestly such a blast. And you know, it came after quarantine. And so I think it was just such a special moment in time where people were longing for community, longing to just be out in the sunshine again, longing just to hear good music and to be able to dance and be free and to be, you know, just a part of something greater. And so I think the show really encompasses a lot of that. And you can kind of see reflected things that were happening in 1973, you know, conversations that were being had and kind of the fight for women, the fight for African-American people kind of coming to the forefront. And you're like, okay, I see the parallels of that happening now and people still fighting for that now and people finding ways to come together and to survive <laughs> even now. Wow. So it's, it's a blessing. As young as you are, you are so wise. You Thanks are so much. sharp. You know, I'm just oh, like, Look, good old God. You, right, you know the right. source. You know the but source. <laughs> you make us proud here. Oh my God. Thank so you so much. tell me what else you'd like me to know about you before you sing. Um, I think that was the biggest thing, honestly, that I'm following Christ. Um, honestly, I I was born and raised uh in church. It's generational, but honestly, I've seen his fruitfulness for my myself. Um and <laughs> I'm seeing the comment. Her voice is pleasant also. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just, you know, continuing to press on to move forward. So well, I'm proud of you. What what are you gonna sing for us today? I'm gonna sing an original. I was gonna sing a cover, but after like meeting you and talking to you, I was like, oh no, you embody this song, so I have to perform it. It's original called I Choose. It's not out yet. Um, stay on the lookout. Um, but I'm excited to perform it. So y'all that are watching, um, I know I'm sitting down right now, but if you want to get up and dance, I will be right here with my shoulders um with you. And <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm gonna get out your way. All right. Cool, I'm gonna up a little bit. Choose to stand for what is right. I choose to leave. I choose to value everybody's life. I choose to open up my heart and let joy in. And I choose light and hope. Oh, I choose to win. I can't hold it in. No, no. This love I feel it got me moving. And I'm gonna spread it cause it's healing, y'all. Woke up this morning on top of the world. Something is crazy. I can feel this way. With all the hate that we see every day. But 
but I choose to see things differently. That only takes is one to change the game. I choose to love, I choose to stand for what is right. I choose to give, I choose to value everybody's life. I choose to open up my heart and let joy in. I choose light and hope. Oh, I choose to win. Come on now, said here we go again. <laughs> Another chance to laugh together. And time is fleeting, so let's take a chance. Risk it hey. for one another. Sometimes it's dark and hard to find our way. With all the greed that we see every day. But I choose to see things differently. <laughs> that all it takes is the one to change the game. I choose to love, I choose to stand for what is right. I choose to give, I choose to be everybody's life. I choose to open up my heart and let joy in. I choose light and hope. Oh, I choose to win. Hey. Yes, that is mine. I wrote that one. The words are wonderful. You choose to win. More people should do that. Yes. Choose to win. Choose yes. joy. Choose light. Choose positive. Choose God. Yes. I love that song. And boy, what a voice. Yes. Thank you oh, so man. much. Yes. Thank you. I contained that in that little space for you. <laughs> Look, I was I was barely contained. I was like, hold on, I'm about to stand up in a second, but you wouldn't be able to see. Keep it down here. Keep it down here. You are so great. Are your parents uh, are still around? They're yes, they are. My mom's actually watching right now, and my dad is 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 as well. I think. Mom, <laughs> um, so shout out to them. Mom, you did a good job. I tell people you can always tell when people have parents. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Cause you see some kids, you say, no, he. They had no parents. But you can look at some people and tell they come from something. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You, yes. you come from some some upbringing that people cared and was hands on and looked out for you. Yeah. So salute your mom. That John John with all those fire, that John John it was the lead of Troop, the group oh, of Troop. So yes. he's watching you and loving. I mean, so people who know <laughs> you are watching you and loving you. And I am as proud as your parents are of you. I almost feel like I had something to do with it. I had oh, nothing. Yeah. You do. You know, you're part of the culture. So all y'all did. <laughs> I love you. And I love that thing y'all doing in the 70s, immersing people into the show. Yes. How amazing and fun. Yes. Exactly. We, we closed our last show for this year, but we will be coming back and doing another grand opening in 2022. 2022. So uh, if, if people can follow me, www.celestebutler.com, I'll be able to post and they can kind of see when the next opening is going to be. Please let me know because I have the shoes with the platform and they got okay. goldfish in the heel. The goldfish okay, got it. in the heel. Got it. I, will, I will do the seventh thing. <laughs> I will be there for you. Oh, I believe it. You're just going to show everybody up. I, I'm going to try. I'm always <laughs> going to try. So tell people where they can find you. Yes, my website is www.celestebutler.com. I'm on social media, Celeste Butler Official. On Instagram, it's official with two L's at the end. And I'm excited to connect with you all. Thank you all so much for the support. And Michael, honestly, thank you so much for having me on. I truly appreciate it. Blessings to you. I love you. We appreciate having you here on the show. You have just taken up another notch. Aww. We really appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, Celeste is about to leave us with our Woo, woo, woo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Give it up, you, Celeste Butler right here on the Mike Clyde Marshall. Staying her face off, y'all. Did woo. you see that? Wow. Melted right, oh. off. Melted right off. Oh, Dave, the show turned out to be just great despite all the calamities and disasters up front that was trying to hold it back. That Sometimes thing. you got to let go. You got to let go and let God. That's right. You got to let go and let God. What do you know about that? Man, that's pretty interesting that that came from you, sir. Um, but it's the truth, and the truth is, what am I, the devil? When she said that, I went to strip into my hat and get to my seventies thing. Wait, with my straw hat, I look.
Did I lose my feather again? Oh, there's my feather. Okay, there's my feather. Oh, it's on this side. <laughs> I can't never tell which way this thing is going to go. Anyway, David, great job. Uh, I, I have to thank everybody that came on this show today. Uh, the fabulous uh, Celeste. Celeste Butler was just amazing. I know our parents subscribed. Sure. Renata Wiggins came back and had them folks walk. They walked, didn't they walk? Yeah, they, they I did. wish they walked closer to the camera though, so we could have saw them a little better. But I know what they was doing. Blake Hopkins did his operatic thing. That was great. Zay Taylor, thank you for the cigars. And they're going to go out. Kelly rocks, as she always does. Uh, Ernest Hart Jr., man, that dude is a living legend. You want to talk about a living legend, a guy who's done all of it. Betty Davis. Can you imagine doing a scene with Betty Davis? That's crazy. That's, that's too great. You know, my favorite movie by Betty Davis, All About Eve. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And um, and the comic, M.E., always funny. That big dude, he fill up a screen, too. He ain't afraid. So, anyway, <laughs> this was a fantastic <laughs> Tuesday. We are here tomorrow live, Wednesday, with another great show for you. Um, I don't even know where I'm going this weekend. I think it's somewhere in North Carolina. It's doing something with a bunch of kids. So that's going to be great. I'm going, the kid thing is pretty big for me. I'm reading to the children today, 11 o'clock on Instagram, uh, reading with Mr. Mike. Have your kids tune in. You could tune in, too, because, you know, reading is fundamental. You know, you got to have kind of hat. You could break it down, do all kind of stuff with it, you know. Yeah, boy. You know, and... um. Hey guys, just live your life. Give us a little traveling music. Let's get out of here. We did good. Hey. Hey. That's hey. traveling music. Hey. Leave hey. back, baby. Leave hey. back. Hey. That's right. Y'all just keep going first. Get out there and have a super cow fries with the big family. Do some fun today. And if you don't, it's your fault. You're the one who planted your power in your own hands. Can't nobody take it from you. You can only give it away. So take your power back. Be in love with you. Be in love with God. Be in love with life. And do that dance. It's a new day. David, tell the people goodbye. Goodbye, y'all. See y'all tomorrow, dark and early. We're going to be right here no matter what is forced us to make this show happen. And we always pull it out our backside. So do uh. something else. Do something nice for somebody for no reason. Don't videotape it and put it on the internet. Just do something nice for somebody because it's something nice to do. And, yeah, just uh, we'll do it. Don't be trying to get nothing back. That's not no kid. That's a party. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Have a good day, y'all. It's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. Continue to be great.